Guys, my name is Andy Carter. Welcome down to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Lots of content coming, some really good, fun content as well on the golf course, but also some what I would like to think is informative content coming from down here at the driving range to help you with your game. Today we are talking those horrendously infuriating duff chip shots. Now, we see this very often, it's something we've got to change. We see golfers swing it too long, not get the setup correctly, use too much of the wrist because they're trying to hit it in the air. And as a result of that, we get the skull shot, the one that flies across the bottom of the green, and also the duff shots as well, the fat shots. And the duff shots is what we're going to be really focusing on more so today. The duff shot is basically when the club bottoms out before it hits the ball so it hits the ground before the ball and therefore obviously the ball will not advance very far if anywhere at all many issues in your golf swing and your setup can lead to hitting the ground before the ball and they're just going to go for a couple of them now in terms of setup so i often see stance kind of being the same as what you would normally do with a seven iron so feet shoulder width apart it's definitely not what we want to do because on that short little swing it's very easy to kind of laterally move the body weight across onto your back foot therefore not being have not having time to get forward again to your front foot in order to make contact with the ball so we move our body center behind the ball therefore we're more likely to bottom the club out before the ball and duff the chip going from a little bit more of a technical point of view the one of the common things i often see is a very very big backswing a decelerated downswing and lots of wrists so as the wrist starts to release the club too soon the club head as you'll see here gets very low to the ground and without very with very very little or no body rotation whatsoever the club bottoms out into the ground before the ball and that's going to be the main theme of today's session talking about what the wrists do the length of swing and most importantly talking about the lower body so let's get this right from the get-go we, we can talk all day about what people could potentially do wrong let's talk about what we need to do right to stop duffing chips first thing i want to see is a narrow stance so i often tell people to use the club head as a bit of an, an indication you can go an inch or so either side of the club head but by doing that you are already quite narrow so it's a really good way of just kind of remembering and indicating exactly where the setup needs to be in terms of body weight I like to see that the, 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 the little bit more weight push onto this lead hip. Don't necessarily want to see the shoulders leaning forwards past the hip. I want to see the hip a little bit more kind of pronounced with the weight onto the left hand side there. So that's a decent setup position. In terms of the butt of the club on the inside of the lead thigh as well, we don't need the hands so far forward. One of the big issues with putting the hands too far forward is that we we kind of isolate the, the bounce of the club the back of the club and we only have the leading edge left the leading edge will dig into the ground given any opportunity it will dig and we do not want this club to dig we want the the sole and the base of the the, the wedge to glide through the grass we don't want to see the leading edge dig so if we put the hands forward we isolate the bounce as we go up we hit down on the ball now exactly uh, down on the grass i should say we definitely do want to hit the ball first golfers in general are aware in a dead right that the hands do need need to be slightly ahead of the ball and when i say slightly ahead we're talking an inch or so never really want to see the hands on the outside of this lead thigh so we're going to make sure the inside we're going to have the narrow stance we have the weight slightly on the left side and we have the butt of the club on the inside of the left thigh this is a really nice position to kind of set up from nice and neutral slightly into the left side but nothing too kind of severe now in terms of length of swing this is where we're going to try to make sure that the shoulders and the hips are working together you can see my hands working on the outside of my body so they're going past my right hip and they're going past my left left hip on the way through the shot so i've got some nice rhythm in my movement here with my shoulders hips and arms kind of working together one of the issues i see is that the arms work maybe the hips do work on the back swing but I often see that on the downswing where there's very minimal rotation here. That means we've lost all momentum through the shot and it's kind of like a, that panic kind of, like panic thick shot as we come back into the ball. What I like to see a lot of, I like to see one-handed golf shots. Get the butt of the club more in towards the front of your chest. Use your trail hand and just turn your hips and the shoulders. And what you'll see is as, you, as I'm finishing the shots here, my lower body, my hips and my arms, 
are out towards the target. My hands are away from my body. Okay, I've not got them. I've not got them exaggeratedly stretched, but I've got lots of rotation and rhythm. So I'm getting my back swing, my impact position correct, and I get my through swing very similar and almost symmetrical to what I'm doing in the back swing. Just getting some nice rotation through the shot, building a rhythm. During lessons, I often say to golfers, oh, this is going to feel like a big swing. And a lot of golfers get panicked by the follow through. The follow through, if you wanted, you could go there and there, and it wouldn't go too far. Why? Because the backswing is going to be your indication to how far the shot's going to go. It's your backswing that's building up the power. It's your follow through that's maintaining your momentum. Your follow through is not making you hit the ball further. I do understand that the bigger follow through we have, does feel like it's going to hit the ball further because that's what we would do on a full long range shot. The follow through in this instance is just being worked for the momentum and the and maintain, maintenance of the movement on the way through. So that's one of the key things with the follow through, making sure that the backswing and the downswing work together. And you can see now I've literally hit this chip 20 yards maximum and my follow through is all the way up here. I've got my hips and my shoulders rotating through and I've got my arms away from the ball. Now, to be honest with you, it wasn't the most amazing strike in the world, but the movement was still pretty good. So I, got, I kind of got away with it, to be fair. So I've got lots of nice turn. That was a nice strike and I rotated through. So the bottom of the club is gliding across the top of the ground and my body's rotating all as one, okay? Real key thing here, this little one-handed one handed drill. This little one-handed drill is absolutely amazing for that, making sure the arms stay, the hands and the arms work outside of the body, the shoulders rotate, the hips rotate. We turn back and we turn back up and around on the way through, making sure we've got lots of rotation at all times in the golf swing. How can you judge it? Forget the strike for the moment. Once you've finished, just stop there, okay? Lower body pointing at the target, hips pointing at the target, my hands in front of my stomach or my hands in front of my chest pointing at the target. They've got out and away from the body. One of the common faults is that hands stay very much in, to, in towards the lead hip, wrist maybe flick the club up into the air at this height, and we'll see that the, the, the hips are pointing only 45 degrees left of where the ball started and not at the target. So you can easily check if you're doing this right, regardless of whether the shot was good. And that's why it's massively important to understand if you're doing things right or if you're doing things wrong. You can hit some really good shots, some really good strikes with, the, with, the, with what I would say is really bad technique. Because if you practice it often enough, you'll get it right eventually and occasionally. However, the magic word in golf that we're all looking for is consistency. And that's what really poor technique will not give you. It will still give you good shots, but it won't give you consistency. This movement here will give you consistency. The bad shots, and I've hit a couple there, to be honest with you, but they've been okay. They're all, they're all on the green. Okay, they might, they might not be really, really close to the flag but I've certainly not duffed any shots like I did at the start of the session. So you just gotta be careful in making sure you're comfortable in that movement, lower body and upper body rotating together, hands working on the outside of the body, making sure we keep the width and rotation and also make sure we got the height to make sure we hit down into the back of the ball. But going back to the very start of the session, make sure your setup is correct as well. You do not want to see the hands too far forward. You don't wanna see a wide stance. We don't wanna be promoting lateral movement or a dig into the ground with the leading edge so get the setup right first use that one-handed drill just to kind of get a feel for how the body should be rotating throughout the swing and the feel of where the arms should be in relation to the body and you will 100% get better at chipping and stop duffing the chips that is the worst thing you can do when you've done all that hard work from 400 yards or 300 yards to get it into within 15 yards and that's when we take the most amount of shots we've got to get rid of that guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do hit that like button please also most importantly hit that subscribe button it does make a massive massive difference to the videos join me again there's lots more content to come on the channel really good videos with peter finch brian mcfadden some really funny videos on the golf course with course vlogs so do check us out again and for today from a glorious sunny dubai i'll see you in a bit